Quarterfinal four, match number one, underway here on Carver in Houston, Texas. Miss Daisy places a cube up on the scale on Otto. Red Alliance is trying a double cube on Otto here on the scale. Bomb Squad comes over, they have a second cube. Red Alliance, two cubes in Otto. Red takes ownership of the scale. We enter the teleoperative phase with an almost exact tie. However, Red Alliance owns the scale. Blue Alliance wants to regain it. 341, Miss Daisy grabbing cubes, trying to place them up there. 175, placing cubes up for the Blue Alliance. However, 1425, Eric Code Zero is just too fast for them right now. Red has four cubes up there. Blue only has enough to barely keep it balanced. For the Red Alliance, 4795 East Box from East Chapel High School, placing those cubes back there through that vault. Blue Alliance playing a little defense here on the Red Alliance's switch. Looks like 49-44 is bouncing back and forth. They're preventing the bomb squad from getting through. Little choke point control here, 49-44, containing bomb squad back there in the area. Blue Alliance has ownership of their switch, but 49-44 doing an excellent job trapping bomb squad in there. Blue Alliance now placing cubes up there onto the switch. Blue owns the switch or scale now. Red Alliance has the lead, 225 to 155. 60 seconds left in this match. Red Alliance plays a force power up with two cubes. Although they don't own the scale in the middle field for 10 seconds, they gain ownership. Red Alliance has placed or played a boost power up. Red Alliance putting more cubes back there, getting more in their vault. As we enter the end game, Red Alliance has the lead, 285 to 204. 1425 gets in position, they deploy their ramp. Every one of these robots that climbs above the brickwork is worth 30 points. 1425 in place to climb. 4795 East Bots from East Chapel Hill High School trying to jump on. They jump up on top. And the Red Alliance has two robots up. Blue Alliance has two robots up. Offsetting points here, and this match ends in three, two, one. This match is nearly tied, ladies and gentlemen. Our initial score right now shows that the Blue Alliance, let's see who took it, who got it? Blue Alliance. The sixth seeded Alliance takes the advantage over the third seeded Alliance. Another upset in the making here on the Carver field.